go back into that house. What's up guys? It is Sam and I'm back at you with another 3 a.m. challenge. And as you can tell by the title, tonight we are going to be breaking all the rules of the one man hide and seek with the Bride of Chucky. So you guys kind of already know what the one man hide and seek is because of my game I did play with Chucky. Now this is his Ride, and we are going to do the exact same ritual, but this time I'm by myself, sadly. And we are going to try to break all the rules and see what happens. When I broke all the rules of the Ouija board on Friday the 13th, that was the most insane thing, and we actually were able to catch a lot more on camera by breaking these rules at 3 o'clock in the morning. However, right now it's obviously not 3 o'clock because there is a long ritual ahead of us. We have to open her up and basically make her a voodoo doll. But before we break these rules, we have to make sure we do all the rules correctly to set it up in order to make sure that this whole game and ritual work. I mean, I want this to work and not break the rules enough so it doesn't work at all. So, I'm not going to be breaking that many rules, if any, until the actual ritual starts. Let's go over the rules for the one man hide and seek. The preparation of the doll, this is what takes the most time. We gotta take out whatever the doll is stuffed with, so I'm gonna have to strip her down. Speaking of, what is underneath? Take all the stuffing out and restuff it with rice. Then I gotta put my DNA in there and then sew it up with this crimson thread. Then I'll be doing this whole huge ritual like hiding and then coming back and stabbing the doll, etc. etc. That is when the actual game begins, and that is when I'm also going to be starting to break the actual rules. But, in the meantime, I have to make this freaking doll, so let's get to it. Yo, but one thing before we start, have you gotten your Beyond the Norm merch? This thing is crazy, and obviously with these types of games, we're going beyond the normal, we're going even paranormal. That's not exactly what it means. I'm just trying to sit here and inspire you guys to do crazy things that aren't normal. Live your life doing things that are different. Obviously, I didn't think I would be doing this, like 3 a.m. rituals. I do a lot of crazy stuff in my life, as well as travel the world, and obviously I do YouTube for a living. When I was a kid, most of my school didn't even know my name, and I was a band student. I was basically the definition of normal, so that's why I challenge you guys to go above and beyond and make your life different, because I know for a fact that I hate being normal, and that is why I do YouTube, that is why I travel the world, that is why I try to inspire you guys. So, once again, if you haven't capped your Beyond the Norm merch. The link will be in the bio, but either way, let's get started. Yo, that is the weirdest thing. Did this fall off the chair? Actually, I don't know. I probably said it. Not the right place. Anyway, that's weird, guys. Are you freaking already moving before we're making you into a voodoo doll? How am I gonna freaking cut you open? I cut Chucky open from the backside. Her whole body is like, like hard stuff besides her butthole. So it looks like I'm gonna be. Oh, whoa, 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 I just noticed this. She has a freaking knife in her back pocket. That's so crazy. Not only does Chucky keep a knife on him, but also the bride of Chucky keeps a knife in her back pocket. In order to create the video doll and make this game work, I actually do really want to do everything correctly. So I'm not gonna be breaking these rules about how to make it, just what to do while the game is playing. However, one of the rules is you're supposed to name the doll, but you're not supposed to name the doll either yourself or a family member or a friend, so I'm going to name this doll Sam. So, say hello to Sam. Sam is a girl's name too, right? All right, Sam, you even have blonde freaking hair. That looks so eerie. Yo, you're having a little nip slip, Sam. You can't do that. Only I can do that. <sighs> okay. Freaking Sam has a bunch of rice in her butthole, and I have to sew this up with red thread and then wrap a ton of red thread around her actual body. So, I'm gonna do this real quick, and then we'll go over the rules that I can break. I tied up her butt and wrapped a ton of string around. It looks pretty good. Yo, I don't... I don't know if I caught that, but I literally thought she just blinked. We have a second camera here tonight because a lot of people in the last Chucky video said, is there any way that you can film 
the doll moving because when I saw him last time, he had already gotten out of the bathtub and that was freaking weird. So I'm gonna set this up at the end of my bathroom hall to hopefully catch if this doll actually works, if it actually moves, I'm gonna catch it on camera so that you guys can see. One of the main rules of the one-man hide-and-seek is not to do it with a human-like doll. And as you can see, she's pretty human-like, and her name is Sam. This is getting really creepy, actually. <laughs> like, really creepy. There is rule number one broken. Boom. And I actually did break that rule last time with the Chucky doll as well, so apparently I'm not supposed to do that. And I forgot to actually show you, uh, I can't go back now, but I did put my own DNA in there, put my hair in just like last time. I was going to go ask for somebody else's hair to do that as a broken rule, but I figured that putting anyone else's hair in would kind of be a little screwed up. Well, I don't want to like harm anybody else because they don't really know that I'm doing this, especially in the house alone. The only rule that I'm not really going to break is anything that would harm anybody else in the house. But other than that, it does say that in order for this to work, you have to start the ritual exactly at 3 o'clock in the morning. So it is not really close to that. I have to wait another hour or so. So I'm going to set everything up and I will see you at 3 o'clock in the morning. Peace. Okay, guys, it is finally 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, like five tell. So I decided that I'm gonna prep everything up right here and explain a little bit more of the rules. We are actually in the bathroom because I, in order to summon the spirits and stuff like that, it needs to be into the bathroom. So here's how we actually do it. Give your doll a name, I already have. This is Sam, sorry for touching your boobs. When the time is 3 a.m., so about five minutes, I'm gonna say Sam is the first it. So I guess that's me, so I'm the first it. It's also Sam, this is gonna be very confusing with we're both named Sam. Then go put the doll into the water-filled bathtub. Then you're supposed to go to a high hiding place with a TV and turn on the TV as well as turn off all the lights. Now here's where I can start breaking the rules. I'm gonna have the lights off and the TV on when I do the ritual, but as soon as the ritual is over, I'm gonna turn off the TV and turn on the lights. Those will be the next two rules broken. So after I'm in my hiding spot, I count to 10 and then I go back to the doll in the bathtub. Then once you are back in the bathroom after your hiding spot, you grab your sharp edge and stab the doll like this. Say, I have found you, Sam. I have found you, Sam. I have found you, Sam. That is when I go back to my hiding spot and the game begins. Let's get started because it is almost three o'clock in the morning. I honestly can't figure out how to work my own bathtub, so I'm gonna put this as a stopper. That is working. So, the first step is to say to the doll, Sam is the first it. Sam is the first it. Sam is the first it. Now, I gotta put you in this bathtub. Turn this off. It doesn't have to be completely full, just gotta have enough water in it. Sam, I guess. You're going in. Perfect. Okay, so now it's my job to turn off all the lights in the house, go to the room in my hiding spot with a TV, and count to ten. Here we go. Before I turn off all the lights, I'm gonna put the excess extra camera right there. So with that being said, if I turn off the TV, then if you think about it, I am basically cutting off my lifeline to see if there are any spirits here. But anyway, we got the rest of the ritual to go, so here's my count. I'm just gonna count with my eyes closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here's my sharp edge. This is all I gotta do. I mean, holy crap, that is so scary. All right, I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna say, I have found you, I have found you, I have found you. And then I'm gonna leave this with her. Actually, I'm gonna go tape this to her. All right, 
So, Sam, you are the next it. Then, the ritual is done. Finally, you're on the counter right there, and the ritual has begun. So it's my turn to go back to that hiding spot. Let's go. I'm gonna try to turn on the lights, so I just turn on one of the lights behind me. I'm gonna turn on this main light, and that turns on this. So, put this camera right here. We'll be able to see everything that happens right there. My hiding spot is back in there. I'm gonna turn on the kitchen light. And then I'm also, just to break more rules, I'm gonna turn on this main room and generally see everything that goes on in here. This, I'm a little bit happier about breaking this rule. So, oh my god. Oh, that freaking scares me every time. Alright then. Yo. Yo, that's so weird. This freaking TV's off. Do, turn, do TVs turn off? Like, is this like a... Do you think this is like a smart TV? Elton, do you have like a freaking smart TV? Does this turn off on its own? Because I was literally in here like three minutes ago. And it was on. Anyway, that's one of the rules that I want to break anyway, so I'm not going to question it. I'm going to turn the TV off, so no matter what... I just heard a noise from up there. Oh, that's what my room is right above the garage and this is right next to the garage. So my bathroom, the one that Sam the doll is in, is like right above me. Anyway, that's what I was saying. That is actually, the, the TV going off is actually one of the rules that I want to break. I want to turn off the TV and keep the lights on the whole time. Two more rules that I'm going to say I'm going to break before I'm going to be quiet. One of which is you are never allowed to leave the house or lock any doors. So what I'm going to do is during this game, somehow, I'm going to leave the house and lock the doors. Two, you are not supposed to let this game last for more than two hours because if so, it is said that the spirits or whatever is in the doll becomes too powerful for... Oh, I just realized I don't have the salt. Anyway, it, it becomes too powerful to be put out, and how you put that out is the salt water. The only way to stop the spirit is to pour a bucket of salt water in So I am actually, right after this, gonna go get some salt water. During the span of the game, that's what's gonna happen. So recap, I've already broken the human-looking doll, the giving them the name, the turning on lights, the TV, and I'm gonna break two other rules. Leaving the house and leaving the doll alive for more than two hours. Let's get it. Oh wow, okay, I didn't catch that on camera, but something just freaking fell, okay, anyway. I still don't understand why that TV turned off. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa. Yo, 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 yo. What the f I swear I turned on these lights. Yo, I turned on those freaking lights. And those. What the crap? I literally turned on the down.
upstairs, so I'm freaking gonna go really, really fast. Yeah, it smells like the ocean again. All right, so now I at least have the salt. So now that I have my salt, I'm gonna try hiding in a different spot because I feel like moving hiding spots could also be a rule. I don't know, I didn't read that, but hey, and off is hide and seek, basically, and I'm switching hiding spots. Isn't that against the rules? I'm just gonna lay right around here because in this area, Side note, I'm like really freaked out as to why the lights went out. Like literally power off. That has never happened before. It's like, it's like whatever spirit is there, like knew I was trying to break the rules and wouldn't let me break the rules. Um, I really, really want to catch something. I don't want to give it time to actually form. Like I said, I'm going to try to last this longer than two hours. So I'm just gonna chill here for a minute if I hear anything. Obviously, like I do, I'll let you know. Upstairs lights work. Nothing. Mm. Oh, f holy! Sh oh, 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 God, go, 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 holy! Oh, sh is it coming down? I'm, I'm literally getting out of here, I'm getting out of here, getting out of here. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. And you saw that too, right? It wasn't just me. That, that was not just me. There was something there. There was, there was literally... Oh my god. Start! Oh my god, this is actually not... Okay, thank god. Gate okay, opening. I just broke another rule. I can't believe that freaking worked. I literally... That... That thing was walking, wasn't it? Holy crap, okay, I'm gonna set this down. Just to drive. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm actually like just peacing out. All right, what just happened, Sam? Holy sh I literally heard something upstairs and ah. Uh, this type of stuff doesn't happen. Dolls just don't freaking move. That's like something in movies. Like, I have this like this weird freaking feeling that something's following me. Alright guys, so I just broke five rules. My fifth rule right now was just leaving the house. I left the house and it said that no matter what, the number one rule not to break would be to keep the game longer than two hours. So I am gonna go literally just drive around and after it's been two hours, I'm gonna come back into the house and see what has happened. Alright guys? I don't know what, what exactly to expect, but alright. I'm just gonna go for it. Alright, so I had some time to think. It's been about 15 minutes now. And I just want to say, one, you guys probably think I'm a freaking dumb 
for doing these games. And two, I think I'm like living in a movie. I don't understand how to explain why is there so much traffic? Holy crap. I, I I don't know how to explain what's going on. I wish I wish I could just like have you guys here to ex experience this with me, but look at me. I'm freaking four o'clock in the morning, I have no shoes on, I'm walking around the stupid plaza, just waiting around, I can't go in anywhere, everything's closed, and I don't know what to do. It keeps hitting me that I have to go back into that house. I, I feel stupid. I'm filming myself running away from a freaking doll that I made in socks at four in the morning. Live life beyond the norm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life, but I will see you when it's been two hours. Okay guys, I am back at the house. Five minutes past five, so it has technically been over two hours. I don't know, I'm gonna go back in. I do not have salt water on me right now. That's the first thing I'm gonna get. And we're gonna see what has happened in this godforsaken house. Oh my god, that scared me. Holding this like it's a candle or something. One more time. See, I saw that stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that is the camera up there. Was that the camera? No. No, no, no. Look, look, look. Okay, guys, holy crap. Is that honestly what I think it is? Check what that got, but it stopped. Uh, obviously, it probably stopped recording. It's been recording for two hours. Hello. Holy! Holy! Shit. I, I win! I win! I win! I win! I win! I win! Whoa! What the? F wait! Wait! Move! Wait! Was that the same? Good. What the? F Yo! Hello? What the f***? I... Wait, what? Did that not work? Hey! Stupid doll! I... I... I win... I, I win, I win, I win! It's the... The game's over! Wait... Did it not work? I'm so confused! Wait, what the f***? I literally saw that knife right th How are you in the same spot? Why were you in the s- I swear I heard noises. This is so stupid. I definitely heard something and it was definitely moving upstairs. I could have sworn that was the freaking thing unless that was the camera. But the- But the knife! I- I don't- I literally don't understand this. Guys, what the f happened? I've literally been gone for like two hours, up all night, and it doesn't work? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to go back through the footage. I still don't understand that freaking knife thing. I really hope this worked. Oh my god. Yo, 100%. 
That's so weird. Why is my camera going in and out of focus? It's right there. That doll blinked. That doll freaking blinked when I talked about it. That is the creepiest... What the f***? That, that literally, that blinks again and again. I have no idea why that did not work. But either way, guys, this is f***ing creepy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out what this is going on, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.